I wouldn't say you're my right arm, but uh, you're a very important part of this team, and I'm glad to have you on board. Uh, yo, uh, give me just a second. Don't stay right there, and I'll just you just see what I mean. <laughs> and then the guy said, "There's no way you can have this many chickens. <laughs> They're birds. Yeah, no, they don't fly." Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Forget about the damn chickens, man. Just forget about the damn chickens, okay? Welcome to Osiris New Dawn. Fellas, keep quiet. You see those big monsters on there? Those are the fellas that we need to shoot. You just shoot them down like if they hurt their mother. Okay? Nothing else. Yeah, you're dismissed. So I built myself six security units. They are all set to follow now. And once I'm inside the base, they seem to follow me pretty, pretty okay. They just look wherever I look, which is pretty cool. Over there, I think it's still on stay. But when I try to go out, because I left this opening, I reworked the walls a little bit. Uh, they don't seem to know what to do. I think they're still what seeing a wall, and they they don't uh, really try come out. Does the thing same thing happens to the mining drones? The ones that are outside, they are outside. The ones that are inside, they're inside. They can't really tell the difference between uh, uh, walls being in front of them or walls letting them come out. But there you go. <laughs> it's getting quite crowded in here. Yeah, buddies, you got that the wall over there. So let's cancel all this, all the follows. Now it's a little bit easy to cancel because before they still run away a little bit, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Come here, man. I just want to tell you to stop following me. <laughs> let's see. Are you still follow? No. What about you? Cancel follow. Those two don't seem to be following me. What about this one? I don't think this one is following. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a mess around here. So, I extended the walls a little bit outside. And... Uh, the corners here... I kept the radar outside too. I made this with the corners to make this diagonal. But... Over on this side, there, the walls are kind of hanging, so that's why I started using the bigger walls over there on that side. To make it flush to the floor. But, I think I'm gonna keep them both, because if I push those big walls all the way around... Uh, no, actually, what I'm gonna do is use these big walls all the way around, because if I use these small ones... On this side, they're gonna be hanging. If I push them into the ground, when I reach that side, they're gonna be way too deep into the ground. So these big walls are gonna work nicely, because here on the back, they kinda match the size of the lab. And once I go over there, which is a little higher, they're gonna be just about the right size for them not to be too big. So I'm gonna replace all these smaller walls all around. I'm gonna also fix a, another entrance on that side, have an entrance here and an entrance there, but it doesn't seem to work because I think the AI is just seeing walls all around. Um, and let's go from there. I'm also installing these uh, watchtowers, but also another cool thing that I just found, and I only realized this after placing down wall, almost a hundred walls, is that there's this uh, another option over there called fine rotation, and so if I just if we click the mouse, it turns like a certain amount of degrees in each direction, right? But if we press left shift, it just turns slowly in both directions and we can just place it in the right angle that we want it. It just takes a little while. We can still raise it up and put it down. But this is a real cool thing that I didn't notice before. So this is what I'm going to use actually to do that the diagonal over there. So I'm going to remove also those corners and I'm going to replace with those big walls and I'm gonna put them on the diagonal yeah man they're part of the team but they're not mining like you they are just shooty shooting 
when they see baddies you seen those those blue monsters yeah they're gonna shoot them down no worry about it no the drills are part of the team too no man they're not the immigrants i built them i built them all eight of them okay so this is the line that i would like to accomplish bringing the big wall all the way here so let's see if i can manage to do so no they're trying to attach so let's go left jet maybe to the other side would be better And also, let's try something. Let's try to attach and see if he keeps the same... No, he goes, he goes. So let's put it all the way in. And... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to see from this side. Let's go a little bit outside to see the angle. A little bit more, a bit or less. Kind of like this. Yeah, I think it'll work. And the cool thing, oh no man, oh that was a lot, oh but he returns to the same position, he returns to the same position, nice. No, I just can't let it snap, otherwise it's gonna go straight, so it's not snapping, I don't want to put it too much in, it's kind of hard to see, but there you go. And now we should snap to these ones, yeah, very nice. Really good addition, fine rotation. I haven't noticed it before. I, I am not sure when it was added. But I this was the first time I was building these walls eh? and I noticed for the first time. But it's really cool. Now we can actually do some nice angles. And uh, it doesn't seem to be turning out very well. But, okay. I can always remove this one and connect to over there. Or just rotate it a little bit more. So let's get it a closer. Let's see how it be. How it be just snapped. Okay, I can just remove all of these ones and bring it a little bit to the back. So that I'm gonna follow this. I, I was gonna remove these ones anyway to replace one of the big ones because you see now they're at the inside of the terrain they kind of have a nice height and these small ones and uh, I, I would prefer like this because the top will be all leveled out you know what I mean so it's gonna be better I think so let's just remove all of this all the way to the, the end of the diagonal and replace it with those big ones also let's see if the robots kind of figure out that there's no wall anymore because as you can see they they stay inside but let's see if they can recalculate that the walls have been destroyed and can actually move i'm gonna take out this too because it's not probably not gonna line up where it is but let's see there's no wall now but they all they're still not coming let's try to make this one follow Follow me, dude. Over this way. He doesn't come. You see? He's not recalculating for the fact that there's not a wall anymore. Or maybe they just have a range from the base. I'm not sure. Could be. But the thing is, the mining drones, they, they go out when they can. The ones that were outside already, they stayed outside. And the ones that are inside are still inside, so... I figure the programming must be the same and I think they just cannot figure out that the, the wall is not there anymore yeah some work needs to be done on the AI I think could be some other reason I don't know but there it is and I see oh those, those two are outside yeah but a few of them stay here and that one keeps over there I think he might be stuck let's see if I can unstuck him this poor boy, he's probably full. I think he's mining. He's got some range on his weapon. Oh yeah. Let's see what he's got. Holy moly. <laughs> and you know what? I might also keep some of these rocks. Maybe I could do a few rock walls. Do some sort of a different structure. But... Uh, yeah man, just follow me. Can you just follow? Oh man. Can I dismantle you? 
and get the resources back. I don't seem, I don't seem to to have that option. Maybe I have to take everything out. And what about now? Can I dismantle? No. I mean, it will uh, pick up the rocks. Yeah. It would be nice to have a dismantle option so that we can uh, just uh, build them again, get the resources, build them again, and unstuck them. Because right now, I'm not sure. Let's try to make him follow to this direction. Follow me now. Follow me now. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. Come on, buddy. It's just a hill. You're not going to get hurt. I promise. Ah, he seems to have found another place that he can't. Follow me in this direction now. Come on, buddy. I wouldn't understand if they couldn't climb up. Why, why can't they climb down? That's a little weird. Yeah, in their minds, there's still a wall there. But uh, I got myself quite a bit of stuff. And the drills are also getting nice things. Look at this. It's getting all of it. Azurium, diamonds, all kinds of stuff. Oh, did I stop it? Switch on. Yeah, keep on, man. Look at this. It's not a lot of each, but it's uh, some of everything, which is really sweet. And having eight definitely helps. So, if you really want to get a nice collection of wars, you're going to have to make a lot of these things. And I made eight. But if you can do even more, I think you will help quite a bit, because, I mean... Oh, this one is off. Uh, I mean, to, to do alloys and stuff, we take... We need a lot more than just one or two for me, right? But there you go. Yeah, fellas, they're part of the team, too. Try not to mess around with them too much. But let's see, what can I park in here? Yeah, I'm getting filled up with gold. I'm gonna have to do more boxes and probably just have a box for each because <laughs> yeah the mining drones have been getting a lot of stuff I got some copper some aluminum this is more gold Jesus I got so much gold I don't even know what oh man and look at the lead yeah I'm building the walls but I don't need this much lead I think two stacks should be should be enough for now god damn that's a lot of them lights. And that red thing, I think it's zirconium. It's a zirconium. It's zirconium. So where did I put the zirconium? Right here. There you go. And let's put the silver. Oh, there's silver here. Okay, nice. And the rocks. The rocks, I think I'm gonna put them on the same as the diamonds. <laughs> they kind of the same category. They're all mineral stones so let's continue building the wall shall we this guy right here what do you want you are my my camp station no yeah there's a wall i know i know i've removed these walls on this side so let's try to find another nice angle i think i'm gonna try to go straight to the radar station so let's see first let's give it a nice close-up and it's pretty good, like this, maybe just a little bit more. And let's sink it all the way down. And, it, oh, it's not. Let's try from the other side, might be easier. The angle seems to be okay. Let's try first person. Now it's just a matter of, yeah, that's pretty good. And then I think it would be easier to, oh, but it's higher than the others. Why are you higher? You should be lower. Let's see. Oh yeah. He's kinda trying to follow the terrain. It adapts a little bit to the terrain. Yeah, you see, he goes up. So this one, yeah, it doesn't seem to have the same height. Seems to be a little higher. Well, 
when it comes out hmm. so what I might do is come from the other side because the other side I'm already snapping the walls over there so it should be easier right here <laughs> see this wall is already where wait that's the thing I don't know why the light doesn't work anymore I don't have a light now oh man I mean I have batteries and stuff why doesn't it recharge the light it's a little weird I should have a light I'm gonna have to put some floodlights around here now it's gonna be smoke and guns in my face all the time oh man what the hell did I do yeah these big walls make a lot of shade but uh, I kinda I kinda like how they look so here by snapping they should go into the nice height there you go I've used these walls on the full height before when I built myself a garage in my previous season but right now I think it will work better with just this height right here and they keep it all at the same level on the top so let's remove this watchtower and let's put another one of these defensive walls and let's see is it a good yeah this is a good place to turn so I'm gonna have to remove these ones too and then I'll figure out an entrance because it doesn't seem to make a, a big difference for the AI but for me it will sure make a difference especially when I got other vehicles so yeah the mountain is also doing some shadow and I don't have a light goddamn light so I reloaded the game and look at them go so yeah there's a nice fix for that they recalculated the fact that there's no wall now which is nice pretty cool let's see and now I get a light on too so I decided to reload the game see if my light would come back and it is back and the robots are roaming free which is lovely I just hope they can find the way back <laughs> oh, oh look at that they're going in they're going in through my entrance nice so once the game kicks they kind of know where the walls are and when the walls are not because they seem to be able to use this entrance which is nice okay man that's good that's good it means the AI isn't stuck on the previous calculation you know it adapts to a new thing we just have to reload the game which is uh, works for me if it makes it work and also the enemies they seem to be stuck before but now they seem to be moving around a little bit yeah yeah that's good that's good so let's continue uh wall straight now that's the thing oh but now i can turn but it's on the other no it's the same direction nice let's turn it around a couple walls and then let's see if this would be a good place for the entrance i kind of wanted to keep it in front of the lab it makes sense you know uh, give some uniformity to the build so I think yes I, I'm gonna come out a little bit with the smaller walls no the smaller walls are gonna be really small I think I'm gonna keep the big walls maybe just this little bit right here and then the, the watchtowers but they're gonna be sunk into the ground too yeah they're gonna be really low and I, I think I'm gonna have to place them freeform but the watchtower I can't really raise it or lower it that's the thing but at least I can freeform place it over there if these guys just got out a little bit that would be nice yeah, the watchtower just go follow the terrain. Let's see. Yeah, see, it just follows the terrain. We can't really raise it or lower it, like the other walls, which is kind of a a little limitation, but that's fine. So I was thinking to make these watchtowers so that I can see the outside of the wall, like a castle, you know. So 
in order for some uniformity, I'm gonna continue the wall right from there. From here. So that I can continue the wall on the other side, so it's not connecting to that one. I want that. Yeah, that one. Uh, just stay there, man. God damn it, it changes so fast. There you go. Uh, you, you, you like to watch me work. I would like to watch you work too. You see those baddies over there? Why don't you go shoot them out? Jesus, man, with all this smoke I can't even think. Could you just step away a little bit? Okay, man, give me the lead. That's fine. Move on. Move on. Nothing to see here. There you go. <laughs> so what I was gonna say is, I would, I was gonna start another diagonal here, but I'm gonna encounter the same problem. It's gonna adapt to the terrain and not follow the height of this wall. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have to remove this radar station out of here, because now we can dismantle it. Which is lovely. We couldn't do it before. It was a fixed uh, build thing. And I can just place it somewhere else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue this wall and just make a 90 degree turn over to that one and I'm gonna try and line it up. Of course it's gonna be a little hard because it's very far away and to get the right the right moment to start turning it's gonna be a little tricky. But let's try anyway. And I'm pretty sure it's another one. And before, I was building watchtowers on the corners. But now that's the thing, uh, they kind of get too inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put the walls first and then I'll work out the, the watchtowers later. Because this wall is going to be a little tricky to get right. Uh, let's see. Will this be a good moment to turn? Oh, it's... I mean, from here I'm really far away, but it doesn't seem too bad. It seems to be like it's going a little bit out. But I think it's the best that I'm gonna do for now. So let's keep cranking it up. Let's go all the way, connect to that diagonal over there. And for the final piece, let's see. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh... Yeah, when it snaps, we can't use the left shift. So, let's remove this one first. And let's put this one in. And uh, I could use the, this side for an entrance. Of course, it's not ideal because it's a hill. But since it's not going to line up perfectly, I could just use this part. Because be behind the lab doesn't make much sense. But also here doesn't make much sense because this is going to be like my workstation. So I would prefer to have an entrance over there. So let's see if I can put one here. Maybe try one of these. Yeah, if I connect it there, because the thing is, it doesn't it doesn't like to have two. I also tried to use the custom walls, but they didn't look really nice. Um, so I tried to find a solution using these ones. Maybe this will be enough. Let's see. Can I snap it here? Almost. Almost. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it. No, not this one. The big. Yeah, I'm gonna put it like this. And uh, from the inside looks good. From the inside looks good. From the outside, not so much. But then again, it's not gonna be perfect. I mean, they overlap a little bit. Come on. Seems like I, I can't detect the wall neither. You can't fly a little bit higher. Go over the wall. Jesus, man. 
That's some wimpy jetpack you got. <laughs> Let's try to make a nice parkour straight from the skylight. So, oh yeah, nice, nice parkour. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty okay. Very okay. Um, I can uh, just work around this a little bit later. But let's let's do a nice entrance on this side. I think it makes sense. Maybe through here. This is like a little corridor. So I guess this wall could come out. And there you go. And instead of having a watch, yeah, I could also have watchtower on this one. It will be kind of cool. So let's remove this one and turn it 90 degrees. There you go. And let's try to put the watchtower here. Let's try to freeform it. It's gonna be hanging, that's the thing. That's the thing. So I think I'm not gonna use a watchtower on this side. I'm just gonna have these big walls. What I could just do is just use the smaller ones. Just like a, a little wall. What about these ones? Oh, those ones are smaller. Let's just put these ones. Right here. There you go. And this will be just like a, a nice easy access from in and out of the, of the base. And uh, what I'm going to add later is turrets to defend these entrances. I think it's going to look cool. It's going to add a little bit. It's going to make everyone feel a little bit safer. So well, let's work out this last thing over here. This last entrance. And I think three is enough. I'm just gonna, not going to have a quick access through the back of the laboratory. But uh, here the watchtowers are working, so I think I'm going to remove this wall and I'm going to turn it a little bit sooner. Like here. I think that's how I did. No, I added the small one. Okay, let's, let's do the same thing. The thinner one. The thinner one and then a watchtower. Luckily, they seem to be going into a nice direction. And it seems to be kind of almost perfectly flat with the floor. So it's a little hard to see, but I think that's pretty good. So there you go. Nice. I got myself to watch towers, watching the main entrance. They kind of lined up. Pretty cool. What I could also do just to make this thing a little prettier is just use these custom platforms. I do have a laboratory, but I'm a little far away, because if I get close I do see the pictures. Like uh, maybe from here. Still far away. It, it has a very short range. But I saw the pictures before. Uh, let's see. There, there you go. You know, it's just like something like 50 meters or something. So for big bases like this one, we kind of don't see the picture, but I can use them anyway. I mean, in Azil, I used these custom platforms without the laboratory at all. <laughs> so the the need for the laboratory, I don't, I'm not sure if it's actually required. But there you go. The pillars connect nicely over there, and they th they should add something to some sort of a gate. Uh, but now I'm gonna need walls to put another pillar on top. There you go. Some combination between these custom platforms and the um, and the defensive walls. I mean, could also work really nice. For now, I'm just not using them, but I might. 
when I, once I figure out something to do with them. But uh, for now, what I could do is just leave the wall up there to make like an entrance. But then I I'll, I'll, I'll would want to come in with the rover and stuff, and I'm not sure if this is going to be high enough. But also, there are no horizontal beams. The only thing that I could use is like floors or something, but it's not going to be ideal. That's not going to be ideal. So for the time being, I think I'm just going to leave the pillars. They already mark the place kind of as a gate, you know? Maybe I could even extend it one block higher, but I think like this is pretty okay. It stands out a little bit from the watchtower, not too much. It also has a different color. And I think it's looking pretty cool. And I might just do the same over there. I don't know if I have watchtowers on this side. I don't think so. I think on this side is the same. Yeah, I have watchtowers on that corner. It can be over there. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. I have three over here. I think I'm just going to keep it two. Because three is, uh, seems a little bit longer. I mean, it's, three is longer than two, but it seems a little too much. But here, uh, yeah, here I think I snapped them on that side, and uh, yeah, it makes sense. Kind of got the, the the back of the base, and maybe here I could add something like uh, maybe a shield. But the shield is going to be a pain in the balls. But I could place it and not use it, just for the aesthetics. Another thing that I could do is just not use these watchtowers. And use stairs. And make a diagonal watchtower over there. Let's see if I can connect the floor to the top of that watchtower. Let's use some some floor. No, doesn't matter. I think they snap to the bottom, but I don't know if this. Uh, yeah, maybe they didn't even snap to the bottom. Uh, maybe I should use a ceiling. Floor, floor. Let's try a ceiling. Yeah, it's not gonna find it. I'm gonna have to place a pillar. Lots of walkarounds, but uh, you know what I mean. Doing a tower on the corner over there instead of having these two. I think the pillar is trying to connect to the thing. Let's use the same one that I used on the other side. I think it was the tech pillar one. There you go. This one, I believe, is connecting to the big tower, to the big wall. And now, let's see, let's use industrial walls. To bring it all the way there. Didn't build it all, but that's fine. Almost in the corner. Yeah, it's not perfectly in the corner. What I could have done is maybe use the rounded walls. Let's see. Just gonna try this out. This rounded all. If I can attach a rounded all here. Where are they? Just your curved wall. I think it's going to the same spots. Yeah. It's going to the same spots. Let's try to go from this side. First person. Yeah, it's gonna end up... Yeah, it's gonna end up on the same spot. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to to work with this a little bit, see if I can figure out a cool thing to do on this corner. But for now, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a corner watchtower. That's pretty sweet. So there you go. My base is coming along. Uh, I got walls all around. For well, the next episode, let's try to work out some more defenses in terms of turrets and stuff, and work out pretty up a little bit this. Uh, what Star Wars, like for example, this gap right here, I could just fill it up with some pillars. They wouldn't look too bad. Right there, in the corner. Where is he snapping? I don't... They usually snap to these walls. Oh, it's going underneath. Gotcha. Yeah, because it's underneath the ground and the pillar is showing up over there. I think. I think that's where the pillar is going. Yeah, over here we can see. So let's put on this side. Can you go up? It's kind of a shame that uh, it doesn't let us connect pillars to each other. On top or underneath, we have to use walls or, or uh, uh, ceilings to actually make the pillar go up. What I have to do right here, use a wall, because the walls connect to each other on top, but the pillars don't. So this is a workaround that I think would help. If we could do the same thing with the pillars, just put another pillar on top of the other. It would save some time, you know. Because now what it's doing is actually connecting to the wall, not to the pillar. But there you go. We can actually do it and it goes really nicely. So that's the idea. Pretty up the place and uh, go from there. But for now, thank you for watching and until next time.